Hello, welcome back to another video where I'm wearing the exact same sweater again and I probably won't stop for a while. I uploaded a picture on Instagram yesterday and somebody requested that I do an eyeshadow tutorial and I was like, girl, I don't know how to do eyeshadow. So I was like, you know what? I think it's time that we do a updated makeup routine. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Right out of the shower, I immediately go to moisturize. Usually I like to moisturize with Pons. This lotion for my face is like a lifesaver. Like I don't even know how to explain how good this moisturizes my face when it's feeling like a soaked up desert in the Sahara. Does that make sense? Well, is it soaked up if it's dry? Yeah, right? Don't know. Don't know desserts. Don't know deserts. Do know desserts. I usually have a couple things that I moisturize with. I never just use one type of moisturizer on my face before I do my makeup. Another moisturizer that I usually use is this Kypris Antioxidant Dew. And I got it in one of my BoxyCharm. I didn't sign up with them. They just, you know, as PR packages, I get them. But it's just really moisturizing and hydrating. Another thing I use is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with avocado. And this has like avocado oil. My very basic, very basic lotion is also the Lubriderm lotion that I rarely use, but I forget that all these products that I use to moisturize don't have SPF in it. So this Lubriderm one does have sunscreen and it's the SPF, it has SPF 15 and I've been using that for years. Another one that I use that I just got from Neutrogena, it's the Bright Boost Moisturizer with sunscreen. And this one actually has SPF 30. And then for primer, I usually use this Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm by Touch Insole. I got this in a boxy charm as well. I like it because it's like very moisturizing but also just glides across the skin. How could I forget? This CLE Vitamin C Serum, Vitamin C Elixir, has been so good to my skin and I feel like it has made it just more vibrant and lively looking like I look younger with this thing on and I already look like a damn baby or maybe I don't anyways I think right now I want to I want to try the Neutrogena bright boost just because I'm kind of new to it yeah I still want to like try it out and see how it is on my face here we go don't put that much I feel like we need more than that <laughs> yeah and then never forget the neck I'm trying to slim the neck at all costs well the thing is it's not that great of a moisturizer. It's just like great SPF for your skin. And it smells really good, but it doesn't make me feel as moisturized as other moisturizers. So I'm gonna actually put on some ponds on top of that, okay? Because I need to be dripping. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Ponds literally makes me feel like I just dove into a swimming pool. That's how like hydrating it is. Okay, I don't know if you guys can already see like the difference between my face five seconds ago and right now, like it's so shiny. I mean, it says ingredients, water, mineral oil, like yeah. So if you have oily skin, Pons is probably not the best choice for you. Don't get on me for drinking out of a plastic bottle because I've already refilled this like three times because I don't know where the hell my reusable water bottle is. God damn, I swear, it's like, if it's not one thing, it's another thing. It's like, if it's not an oil change, I gotta go for a checkup. I gotta go to a gynecologist. I gotta get a pap smear. If I get a pap smear, okay, I'm done, but then I gotta get another oil change. Oh, and then my brakes gotta change, okay. And then I gotta fill up my tires, okay. And then I gotta get gas, oh, and then I gotta, uh, I gotta wash my car. Why is it that I can never like just be done with errands? There's always something that you gotta do and I am that type of person that I need to have my list done or at least just written out and then as I'm writing the list I'm just like oh I gotta do that and it just keeps growing <sighs> I need to breathe I need to breathe another thing I'm gonna put on is the Kiehl's eye treatment just because I feel like our eyes need a little bit of awakening oh that feels so much better already 
Okay, so after that, um, I think I'm going to put on the glassy primer from Touch and Soul. And I usually just put it where my pores are like visible, which is usually like right here. I get that from my mom, which it's okay, mom. I forgive you for this. So I also get a lot on my chin. I just put it on my forehead just so I feel like it's evened out. Maybe we'll put some on our neck too. Our neck got pores, right? After that, we go on to moisturizing my lips because my lips need moisturizing. What I usually use to moisturize my lips is Aquaphor because it is water-based and it's just beautiful on the lips. But um, along with that, I also use this lip scrub, the Hannah Lay Sugar Lip Scrub um, that I also got in a BoxyCharm. Okay, so we are going to lip scrub today. Ugh, sorry, it just feels so good. I love the good hurt, you know? This is the equivalent of men loving their back scratched. It's like, scrub my lips, baby. That's all I want. That's all I want in a partner. It looks ridiculous, but feels amazing. So usually just wipe that off with a towel. But it's like the sugar lip scrub, so it actually tastes really good. And I'm sure it's fine to eat. I'm sure. Dermatologist approved. So after we've scrubbed off one layer of our lips, we also moisturize our lips with this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And it's very like glossy, but without the stickiness. So I'm gonna actually put a little bit of that so you guys can see. Yeah, sometimes I definitely like use this instead of Aquaphor just because your girl wants to try something new sometimes, you know? <laughs> okay, goes off, gets a little psycho. So after we have done the first step of our makeup routine, which is basically moisturize, 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 then we go into makeup. So this is my go-to, Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation. It's like my go-to, it's my holy grail and i usually use it in the shade 118 at least for this season pour it on to our hand that's a good amount okay and then i recently just got this thing and it's basically a beauty sponge holder so i got this when i was at ulta the other day and it just comes with a new beauty blender so basically just start going in on here I just basically pat until everything's kind of dry and not blending out anymore, and then I'm done. That's my makeup. Boom, good to go. Stays clean, doesn't get mixed up with all my makeup, and we're happy. After that, I go in with my Maybelline uh, Super Stay Full Coverage Powder, um, and I use this in the shade 16H. I didn't even see that I hit pan right there. She uses makeup, y'all. So what I basically do with this is just grab this fluffy brush. I basically just go on top of my liquid foundation that I have on. Right now it's probably dried a lot more, but usually I put the powder foundation on right after I put the liquid foundation on, and the liquid foundation then just soaks up the powder and it just is set and stays on for most of my day. So after that, I go in with my Hoola bronzer, which you guys know I've been using this for years. I literally like use the same Hoola bronzer for like five years, which I know is probably not healthy, but this one's the new one. This one I got like a year ago, probably less, less than a year ago, I promise. Basically just use that to contour, you know, my face, cheekbone, under the neckline and then forehead even though my forehead's a little dark it's not like crazy dark but it's weird I, it's just because of my hair because she got baby hair that's okay so i usually just go in and contour my nose a little bit okay boom we're done with bronzer and then we use the same brush that we used for our powder foundation and just like buff that out so that we don't be looking crazy duh after bronzer, we go on to blush. And my go-to blushes are the Tarte one that I have spoke about so many times and I have showed you guys 
in my last video, but this Tarte shade in Achiote. We're just gonna pretend like we know what that means. Or like I said it right. But this Tarte blush is like beautiful. It's cute, subtle color, but it goes on very pink. And then I also use this Glossy A Cloud Paint in the shade Haze. And this is cool because I literally can just use like the amount that's on this tip. And that's enough to cover both my cheeks and my nose. And sometimes, you know, you don't want to use like too many powders on your face or at least that's how I feel sometimes just because I feel like I become very chalky at that point oh <gasps> I just squirted out so much oh my god ah fucky put some on our nose I like the whole like traveling it down right here so that you look like oh my god I'm so blushing right now that looks crazy <laughs> oh my god fuck uh, whatever, we're just gonna go with it. So that's what I usually use for a blush. Either this one or this one, it depends. This one's a little more like deep purple and this one's more pink. After that, we go in with our highlighter. I'm using the same highlighter that I used in my previous makeup routine, which I'll list here. But this has just lasted me for a while even though it's broken and it makes me look so golden and so bright and a little bit goes a long way with the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive because it's like so broken. What I usually do is just like move it on over to one side and then just grab from there. Okay, and then we grab a little bit and then put it on our nose tip, put it on the bridge. And I just never feel like it's enough, so I just like add it and I add it until it's like to its peak. Next, after that, we are at the point of eyes. And this is where everybody was like wondering like, what do you use on your eyeshadow and your eyelids? And I was like, just wait. Because it's so simple, it's so cheap, but it makes a big difference and I'm all about that. I'm all about saving your money using one product to elevate your look. So I use the ColourPop eyebrow pencil to fill in my eyebrows and shape them. I'll just quickly go through that because I've talked about it so many times. I used to use the Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia Bay. Beverly Hills. <laughs> I used to use that every single damn day until I found this, which is like a perfect dupe, even though, I mean, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one is way thinner than this one, but this one just goes a long way and it's not like gel or liquid based. It's very like chalky, which I like in my eyebrow pencils because that means it'll stay a long time. When it's like gel or water, I just can literally go like this and it'll take off half of my damn eyebrow. If I like brush my eyebrows with this pencil on, nothing goes anywhere. It's just like imprinted on my face. Boom. Eyebrows. Done, baby. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. One little brush stroke can change your entire end result completely. Like I swear, sometimes I've like darkened something and people are like, why do you look so different? And I'm like, bitch, I just did three extra brush strokes. Calm down. It truly does make a difference, obviously. It's just like when you like accidentally pluck that one eyebrow hair that was like an essential eyebrow hair. It makes a damn difference. After that, we are not done with eyebrows, actually. No, you thought we were. And then I go in with this Sigma Tint and Tame Brow Gel. And it's very clear, it's subtle, it has a little brush. I used to use this guy from Benefit, which was the 24 hour brow setter. And that was amazing, but dries up really weird and then it gets like my eyebrows super flaky. I like to do very little brush strokes. I don't wanna apply too much because I don't want my like eyebrows to become super hard and then like I said before they dry really weird so sometimes if I put like too much like I think I did on my left eyebrow there then I just go in with a clean eyebrow spoolie and just like get out as much product as I can and boom eyebrows done a lot of people think they're big I don't really care <laughs> I just think, like, I've gone through so many phases with my eyebrows that I'm so over trying to make them a certain way or over plucking them. Like, this is me literally never touching them. And then me just, you know, compensating for the shape and size with the eyebrow pencil. Like, that is exactly where my hair grows, okay? So it's not like I am overdoing my eyebrows. They're just, like, that size. So, 
Now we're on to my favorite part, which is the eyelids and the eyeshadow. So I usually apply this Alme Velvet Foil Cream Shadow, which has worked a lot for me because it's just very like, it's very subtle, it's, it's like a cute muted pink with a glitter and it's very easy to apply and it lasts, it's lasted me a long time, but it gets very like oily right here. I don't know if you guys can see. So it's like very oily and it's not like supposed to be like that. Like that's way too oily. When I was at Ulta the other day, I saw this shadow, the super shock shadow in the shade Roy G. Beef. Roy G. Biv. Damn, why do people, why, who is making these hard ass eyeshadow names to pronounce? Or is it just me who's an idiot? But anyways, um, I just saw it and I was like, this is such a perfect, alternative to the Almay cream shadow which always gets super oily and then I'm just there like trying to mix it in and then trying to squeeze it and then apply it you know all that this is just like ready to go okay I'm gonna show you guys the difference so I just need to like rub in the foundation that's set in the creases this is the eyeshadow and I'm gonna show you how fucking phenomenal this changes the game for your eyeshadows I basically just like do this it's so like creamy. So I fill that up with one of my fingers and then just apply that onto my lid and it literally goes on perfectly. So that's what I was wearing in my recent Instagram post um, that everybody was like, what the hell is you wearing, bitch? I apply like maybe two or three layers and just make sure that my actual eyelid like closest to my eyelash line is filled with the eyeshadow. A little bit goes a long way. And like, look how crazy it changed up my eyeshadow game. Like people are out here thinking that I'm a makeup guru. Just because of this eyeshadow. Boom. Done. Next is mascara. I'm the type that uses an eyelash curler. I know not many people use this shit anymore because they're scared and I'm like, y'all have like perfect eyelashes. I don't. Mine stick out straight. Mine don't curl up naturally. And then my go-to mascara, Alme. One coat mega volume. Literally, one coat. One coat, boom, okay. After that, I usually just go in with my Glossier Generation G. I usually just go in with this, which I probably will do today, but I wanted to talk about these lipsticks that I recently got from Bare Minerals and just look at those colors. Deep brown and this mauve pink. Ooh, that is cute. And they smell so fruity. I mean, this basically looks like the Generation G, but so easy to use. Such a cute color. You should check out this line. This one is in the shade Optimism. Oh, I look so pretty in pink. And then my shirt is like a cute little lilac and my hair still looks crazy. Let's just put a little bit of Generation G. See, that's, that's, mm-hmm, 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 yes. That is my finished makeup routine. I hope you guys got the answers that you were dying to get and I hope that I could help you guys out with your makeup routine and let you guys know what are my go-tos. This is like my absolute favorite makeup routine that I've ever had in my entire life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see more makeup videos, definitely comment down below, like this video, and make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. I know I'm a mess, but thanks for sticking around. Love you, bye. I'm all up in the clouds when I'm falling away Ain't never coming down, let you call my name Yeah, we should